talking about it. I don't want no music or anything I normally do. No. We're going to talk about this. This is going to get dissected. Walks up on the kid. The kid stands up. He's a young man. He's still standing up. He doesn't know what this officer is going to do. He knows this officer is mad. Glass, bit of that vlog life, different vlog, different setting. I want the entire motherfucking spotlight on me. Nothing in the background, nothing going on. This shit is getting out of hand. I'm getting fed the fuck up. <sighs> Police, are we that motherfucking threatening to y'all? Like, just, just the sight of us. Just seeing us, seeing our skin, anything. Is everything that y'all see about us motherfucking threatening to where y'all have to do something always to us? We finna watch this shit together. We finna watch it right now. We finna watch and we finna dissect everything in this video. You wanna know what I'm talking about? Let's get to it right now. I want y'all to see what I'm seeing. Pay attention. He grabbed him by his fucking neck. Choking him with two hands. Then the other officer walk in. Slap, slap. Slap, slap. Grab him by his fucking hip. Ripping his fucking shit. What the fuck? Grab his feet, other black dude holding his feet. This shit is just so motherfucking unnecessary. Do you see this shit? Like, do you really see it? Five of y'all. So this is just an, another angle of the abuse that we just motherfucking saw. He's saying something, he's saying something. And there's other people right there. Oh shit, I thought he was like in a detention. He wasn't even in a cell. Like they ain't even booked. Like he's in processing. All the time he's hitting this fucking kid in the head, in the back of the head. If this shit ain't abuse, I don't know what it is. This is a minor. This is a fucking child. Like, this is a kid. And you felt the need to put him in cuffs. This is how they treat us. This is how, even as kids, this is how we are seen. One wrong slip up, this is what happens to us. I'm so heated right now. But I don't want this vlog to turn into a rant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to maintain my composure because I want to get these points across. That's more important 
than me screaming and saying this and that and all these different cuss words and everything that is going to get expanded into something. This incident happened in Florida. I believe it's Sarasota, Florida. If it isn't Sarasota, if, if Sarasota is an actual city, it's the county. Kid is, he's in booking. He's in booking, he's in processing. This is the fact of the situation. The entire incident was unfucking called for. Period. No two ways around it. This is a child. The police officer, he's taller, he's heavier. This all this is this is this is ego. He wanted to show this police officer that you're gonna do what the fuck I say, boy. That's it. This this is what the fuck happens. He little boy at him. Now boy could either mean boy as far as man and boy or boy like nigger and boy with the ER. The kid had his arms inside his shirt. Do y'all know why the kid had his arms inside his shirt? Because the kid was cold. The officer wanted the kid to take his arms out of his shirt. And when the kid didn't do what the officer said or in as fast as the officer said, he went over there, choked this kid, slammed this kid, and slapped this kid multiple fucking times. See, this is the shit that gets me hot because this is a child. At this moment, that is an innocent child. I don't give a fuck what he did prior to getting arrested. At that point, that child is not a threat. Look at the video. Run the fucking video again. And I'm going to have this video running as I'm talking about it. I don't want no music or anything I normally do. No. We're going to talk about this. This is going to get dissected. Walks up on the kid. The kid stands up. He's a young man. He's still standing up. He doesn't know what this officer is going to do. He knows this officer's mad. He stands up. The officer is already mad. The kid is not threatening in no type of way. The kid is sitting down. I don't give a fuck what the kid told the officer. The officer is supposed to be trained to understand and withtake this minor verbal abuse from this child. Period. You're supposed to be able to take this. If you can't take this, you need to find yourself another damn job. So the officer is mad. He's made walks upon the kid, and he chokes the fucking kid. Even when he has the kid, he's taller, he's stronger, he's heavier. When he has the kid subdued, he still wants to make a point to slam the kid on the ground and slap the kid in the back of the head. Like they, by, by this time, the kid is face down on the ground. The kid is not in a threatening position. You are not in fear of anything. You are in control. You are in control of everything when you grabbed him by his neck. And then you grabbed him by his neck with two hands against the wall. You were really trying to choke choke him. You were choking him. Period. And in his fashion, that still wasn't enough. You still wanted to prove your point. Then the second officer that also walked up, black man. You saw this shit going on, and then you grab the kid by his fucking feet and pull the kid for a slang it, slang in his feet. Bruh, brother, this was you. Or you was at this age 10 years ago. This could be your son. Your nephew. Your son's friend. Somebody in your fucking neighborhood. This, this is who this kid could be. And you didn't even feel the need to come to the defense of the child to let your officer know, hey, look here, no, this shit is going too far. You stood there and watched this shit happen. See, this is the shit that gets me mad when, it, when this shit like this happens to children. 
And this shit is constantly happening over and over. This officer, no, uh-uh. This officer, he needs to be fired and he needs to have charges. Period. He wasn't thinking about his motherfucking job when he did this. He wasn't contemplating his family. Fuck his safety because you were already 30 fucking feet away from the child. And then the child didn't even approach you. You approached the child already in an angry and aggressive manner. So all of this save my job and all of this shit, oh, hell no. I need to know whoever is on this law board and everything that is fighting this case. So I can make it a point to bring this case more highlight. Or, I, or hell, if they at least got to go for me or something so I can at least donate to it. This shit is out of line and this shit is happening to everybody. Old black men, my age, children. This shit, this shit. That child didn't deserve this. Period. And if anybody wants to co-sign what that officer did, Karma gonna come back. I don't wanna say what really comes to mind. I'm gonna be a little bit more smart and be a little bit more intelligent. I'm gonna try to stay as reserved as I can. On what I want to say. Because I don't want emotion to fuel the point that I'm trying to get across. This needs justice. Breonna Taylor needs justice. Jacob Blake. I can say names for <laughs> I guess all of these different names. So what are we going to do? Are you going to go to the polls and vote? Especially in your local election? Because that's where you can make the most impact. Locally. You find out who is a part of your local election. And you make your voice heard. That's what you need to figure out. So I know I know what the hell I'm gonna do in November. But what what are you gonna do? Even right now with this video going on, I'm at least gonna make sure that my platform know that this is uncalled for and I don't accept this. I'm gonna use this as a part of my voice. I'm still gonna do other things to ensure the safety of children, not only in Florida, in Houston. Everywhere that this doesn't happen to young black men, I'm gonna do my part. Let's see if you're gonna do your part. This shit is out of line. Man, man, I'm gone. Billy Daddy, we done. Bye.